A swimming pool is fitted with three pipes. The first two pipes working simultaneously fill the pool in the same time as the third pipe alone. Right? So the first two pipes will work simultaneously and will take the same time as the third pipe alone. The second pipe alone fills the pool five hours faster than the first pipe. Right? So the second pipe is five hours faster than the first pipe and four hours slower than the third pipe. In what time will the second and the third pipes together fill the pool? In what time will the second and third pipes together fill the pool is a question. Now let's assume the three pipes, right? The first, second and third pipes are A, B and C respectively, right? A, B and C are the three pipes. What is he, uh, what, what has he given here in the question? The first two pipes working simultaneously fill the pool in the same time as the third pipe alone. So the first two pipes uh, working simultaneously will take the same time as the third pipe alone. So basically the capacity of the first two pipes is equal to the third pipe. What is the capacity of first pipe? 1 by A. Capacity of second pipe? 1 by B. Capacity of third pipe? 1 by C. The question says the first two pipes working together is equal to the third pipe working alone. So I can say 1 by A plus 1 by B is equal to 1 by C. Right? The first two pipes working together is equal to the third pipe working alone. Now, the second pipe alone fills the pool 5 hours faster than the first pipe. The second pipe alone fills the pool 5 hours faster than the first pipe. So if you try and compare... Uh, you know, the second pipe and the first pipe. It says the second pipe will fill the pool 5 hours faster. So, can I say B is equal to A minus 5? Time required by B is A minus 5. Remember, faster means it will take lesser time. Don't take A plus 5. It should be A minus 5, right? When, when you're doing the work faster, the time required is less. So, the second pipe fills the pool 5 hours faster than the first pipe. So, B will be equal to A minus 5. If the first pipe takes A hours, second pipe would take a minus 5 hours and 4 hours slower than the third pipe. Remember, when we say and, we are referring to the first person. First person meaning the second pipe here, right? So, second pipe is 5 hours faster than first pipe, but 4 hours slower than third pipe. 4 hours slower. Slower means what? It takes more time. How much more time? 4 hours more than the third pipe. So, B is equal to A minus 5 and B is equal to C plus 4. So, these are the three equations given to us. Yes or no? 1 by A plus 1 by B equals to 1 by C, B equals to A minus 5 and B equals to C plus 4. Three equations and three unknowns. Can you solve? Three equations and three variables here. Can you solve? Yes, you can solve. What is he asking us to find out? In what time will the second and the third pipes together fill the pool? So when B and C are working together, when B and C work together, how much time would they take is the question here. Now let us first work on these equations, right? Now what we can do here is, uh, you know, just substitute both uh, A and C in terms of B in this equation here. Like for example, in this I can say A is equal to B plus 5. From this we can say C is equal to B minus 4. Right? So substitute these two in the first equation. So what do we get? 1 by A is B plus 5 plus 1 by B is equal to 1 by C where C is B minus 4. 1 by B minus 4. Now do the simplification what happens in the LCM we'll have B into B plus 5 here the LCM is B minus 4 and then we'll cross multiply. So overall what do we get B plus B plus 5 B plus B plus 5 into B minus 4 equals to B into B plus 5. I hope all of you have followed this. So there's only one equation quadratic equation in terms of B solve for that and you'll get the answer. All right. Solve for B and you'll get the answer. We are taking the LCM here. So B into B plus 5 will be the denominator and the numerator will be B plus B plus 5. Then cross multiply. So B into B plus 5 will go on the right hand side and this B plus B plus 5 will get multiplied by B minus 4. Now simplify. So this is like 2B plus 5 into B minus 4. So 2B into B, 2B square, 2B into minus 4, minus 8B, uh, 5 into B, 5B plus 5B and 5 into minus 4, minus 20 equals to B squared plus 5b. So 5b and 5b gets cancelled. We will be left with b square minus 8b minus 20 equals to 0. Yes or no? b square minus 8b minus 20 equals to 0. Oh, sorry, 2b square minus b square. So b square, yeah. We will be left with b square minus 8b minus 20 equals to 0. Now expand. Uh, you know how to solve the quadratic equation, right? What do you think should be the values of b here? I think it will be... Uh, uh, b minus 10 into b plus 2 b minus 10 into b plus 2 right so b minus 10 into b plus 2 will give you b minus 10b 
yeah plus 2b minus 20 correct so b will be either 10 or minus 2 now b is time here understand what b denotes is time can the time be negative time cannot be negative so minus 2 is not possible we can consider that time taken by b is 10 hours if b takes 10 hours how much time will c take c is equal to b minus 4 so c will be equal to 10 minus 4 which is 6 hours done we know the time taken by b and the time taken by c now you can simplify now what do you have to find out the time required by both a and uh, b and c together right what is he asking us to find out in what time will second and third pipes together fill the pool so fill the uh, i mean together fill the pool how do you do it see final step we know that b is equal to 10 c is equal to 6 what do you have to do next both b and c working together so either do 1 by b plus 1 by c or you know the shortcut formula right we have discussed this in the video when two persons are working together the time required is x y by x plus y so b c by b plus c b c by b plus c so 10 into 6 by 16 which is 60 by 16 60 by 16 is 15 by 4 which comes out to be 3.75 3.75 hours right your answer would be 3.75 hours